What's up guys, it's me, your badass host, Draven, and welcome to another episode of our Pokemon Emerald walkthrough. Okay, so in our last episode, we went through a small side quest, you know, a little side quest. You know, to the uh, Meteor Falls and the rest of the stuff, because, you know, we kind of need to know what's out there and all that stuff. Now, here is another side quest before we go straight into the Pokemon League, and that is, we're going to be going into the Trick House yet again, because we already won our 8th badge. Now, remember, in Pokemon Ruby, Sapphire, and Emerald... There are seven trick house tricks and all that stuff. And this one right here, we got, yeah, we, we, we got seven trick house tricks and all that stuff. And the last one, you won't be getting into until you defeat the, 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 the last, well, the champion of the whole Pokemon League. This one right here, you're being watched. You are going to have a, a hard time trying to look for this dude. And I don't have the, I don't have the, 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 the thing, uh, the thing that, you know, I don't have the cheat code, or not the cheat code, but the 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 uh, description of where to find this guy. But of course, as you guys can see, we've already found this guy. Yes, we're going to be going in. Now, if you guys are playing Pokemon Ores, there's going to be six Trick House tricks or something like that. Yeah, so just be aware of that. Let's go right ahead. And this one is going to be similar to Moss Deep City, where you're going to... You're gonna try and align these uh, these characters together to try and battle you. So what we're gonna be doing right now is I kind of need to train my Pokemon just a tad bit because, well, we got the Pokemon League coming up. You know, we got two Pokemon that are at least at level 50 or yeah, level 50. So we can't win it all with just two Pokemon at level 50 and all that crud. So let's go right ahead and here we go. We are taking on Psychic and and Hex Maniac right here, and they're gonna be coming out with some level 41 Pokemon, so right, right around our rally right here. So here we go, taking these guys on. We're gonna go with the rocks, uh, rock, what you call it, a rock slide, and we're gonna go with the crunch right here, Camp and Crunch. Yes, look at that. And Kadabra is no more. Alrighty. And Baynette is just wondering what the heck am I supposed to do right here? And look at this, Jaws grows to level 43, and is learning Swagger. This move right here is very strategic, but a bit of a risk to use, especially when you're going on your opponent, because it confuses the foe, but it also sharply erases their attack. You could have some uh, foe just, you know, be an a-hole and just, yeah, use it against you. So we're not going to do that. And, well, here they're going to be coming out with another Pokemon, as you guys can see. Soul Rock is about to get this Rock Slide as well. Not much damage, but here comes Bayonet with its damage, and well, here comes a spite attack. This right here is going to reduce our crunch by 3 PP. So what we're going to do now is we're going to go with an Ember onto this one, and go straight for a Surf. This is going to hit Soul Rock. Yes! Finished! Alrighty, okay. Alrighty, and Bayonet is still surviving. So let's go right ahead, go straight for an Ember attack, and just like this, yes, Vignette has been defeated. Oh yes, we're getting some points right here, and it's gonna be a two-on-one match. Here is Lunatone. So what we're gonna do right here is gonna go with an Amnesia. Well, good old buddy Joust is gonna go straight for the uh, Surf attack right here. So here we go, Surf attack for the win, and just like that, Lunatone has been defeated. Yes, sir. Okay. So that's another one. That's another Pokemon down. Yes. Okay. Yes, we are too strong. We are too strong. We're, we're, we're right there. So what needs to happen here is that we have to get to the scroll. Not only, are, not only do we have the panels to move these certain trainers around, but we also have the teleprompters right here. And what we're going to do is we're going to move this in order to move the statue away from the scroll. So that right there is finished. The next thing you need to do is move this. And to me, it looks like we need to do it like this, where it can actually be two trainers at once. This right here. Hmm. Okay, so we could do this. Might lead us to a, uh, an item, but it goes to the scroll, and as you guys can see, we got the scroll real easily right there. So all we need to do now is we're going to go all the way back and see what this one does for us. And this one will lead us to another teleporter right here. As you guys can see, we probably made the mistake of, uh, yeah, doing that. So what we need to do is we need to battle these persons one-on-one, uh, -on -one, so let's go right ahead and move this. 
and do that. So that is taken care of. Now we gotta move this again. Now let's see what happens right here. If we go into this area, we're gonna be finding this. We gotta find a tropic male, which of course will not serve us any anything. But we're gonna go in for another battle right here. So here we go. We're gonna be taking on another trainer right here. So or another two trainers. Let's go right ahead and take on Gentleman Everett and Psychic Maria Mariella. And well, as you guys can see. They're coming out with both Psychic and Ghost type Pokemon, so yeah, we gotta be we gotta be aware of these guys right here. Now, remember, Wobbuffet may not look like much, but it will return any kind of physical or special attacks on the double. Its defense is basically its uh its key to victory right here. So there it is. We got ourselves a good win right there, and Joust grows to level 44. Yes, it's growing quickly. And here comes a rock slide for the win, and well, that wasn't one for the win, but here comes a safeguard, so now we can't do much about that. Let's go again with another uh, rock slide and another crunch. And just like this, crunch for the win. Say goodbye. Alrighty, okay, alrighty. And, well, Everett and uh, everybody else has been defeated, and he's like, you're casual about winning. Yes, I am. I am very casual, and yes, oh yes, you strong you are. Yes, I am. Okay, so let's get the heck out of here. I think we've already done our business right there. Now we got two more traders to take on, and since we freed up the whole area right there, it's gonna be a one-on-one -on -one battle. And you know what? Let's go straight for Vesuvius right here. So here we go. I ever so closely watched you coming. You did, didn't you? Alrighty, so here we go, taking on. Psychic Alvaro, and he's gonna be coming out with his uh, his good old buddy uh, Bayonet right here. And what's gonna have to happen right here is we're gonna go straight for a rock slide, mainly because well, Earthquake was should have won, should have done anything, but yes, look at that. And that nearly defeats Bayonet, so let's go ahead and try this one more time. And the rock slide for the win. Yes, that's how we win. And Be Vesuvius. Getting so close to the next level, so let's go right ahead and take on another Pokemon, and that is Kadabra. And, well, let's go straight for the Earthquake attack right here. And, yes, your HP is full. Here comes Earthquake. And, just like that, Kadabra has been defeated. Alrighty, okay. Alright, and, come on, Vesuvius, you gotta be growing up a level right there. Holy crud, okay. So, yes, you didn't see that one coming. And she's facing the wall because she's, you know, in her timeout. Let's go right ahead and take on another trainer right here. Here we have another psychic, Lexus. She's coming out with Curlia. Curlia looking uh, very curly. So what's going to happen is an earthquake attack yet again. So here we go. Earthquake for the win. And look at that. Curlia defeated. Alrighty. Okay. And there goes Vesuvius. Okay, alrighty. So that's another one right there. And well, he's gonna, or yeah, she's gonna be coming out with a Zatu right here. So we're gonna continue with Vesuvius. And we're gonna be finish this one off with a future, or not with a future site, but we're gonna be going with the Rock Slide. Actually, we didn't even do Rock Slide. It doesn't even affect Zatu. So that, that's my bad right there. So let's go Rock Slide for the win. And. Well, here comes a Nightshade attack. Yeah, okay, so that hits us pretty hard right there. So here comes Rock Slide for the win. And well, there goes Zatu. Yes, Zatu's not feeling pretty good right now. Yes. Alrighty. Okay, alrighty. So it's just like, oh, well, go ahead then. Yes, go ahead. Anywho, we're going to be moving on right here. And we're going to be entering the code. And the Trick Master is a huggable. No, it, no, he's not. No. Okay, so that completes our next uh, objective right here. We're going to be talking to a good old uh, Trick Master. He's like, ah, you made it to me. Hmm, you're sharp. It took me all night setting up those arrows. You're my equal in greatness. Fine, you've earned this reward. And we get ourselves a PP Max. And he's like, scrub that smug smork from your face. It's much too early to think you've won. I'll make new tricks to stump you. I will make you, um, or I'll, I will. You may mock me only when you're done. Come back for the next exciting installment. Okay. The next exciting installment, which will be our final one after we defeat the, the Elite Four, which will be hopefully pretty soon right here. 
Yeah, pretty soon. It's gonna be very, very soon. Anywho, let's get the heck out of here. And, well, let's see. Is there anything else that we need to do? Oh, yeah! There is one more side quest that we want to do, that we need to do, in order to, you know, get ready for the Pokemon League and all that crud. Cannot wait, because that, that, that will be fun. Uh, yes, I am taking my time getting to the Pokemon League, guys. I know, I know. Start the week with, you know, this and all that stuff. But yes, in the next episode, we're going to be going... Let's see. Let's go straight to the Pokenab right here. So, we're going to be going... Straight to... I, wait, like, I, I... Hold on just a sec. I thought we were in Pacific Lockdown. I think we already got there. Old E-Crud. Let's see. Let's see if we can actually fly there. Yeah, we can actually fly to Pacific Log. Okay, so the next episode is we're going to be going straight to Pacific Log Town, and we're going to be going down the the Rapid Tides, going down Pacific Log Town, right here on Route 133 all the way down to, or one, Route 132 all the way to Route 134. In the meantime, yes, we're going to be trying to, uh, yeah, we're going to be unlocking a few, a few things, because we've already caught the Pokemon that we need to catch, and uh, yeah. From there, we're going to be going straight to the Pokemon League. So, yeah, that's going to be fun. Anywho, guys, thank you guys again for watching. Thank you guys again for being supportive and being patient. As always, I will be back for another episode of our Pokemon Emerald walkthrough. See you guys.